good morning guys welcome back or to the channel in today's video it's gonna be we're gonna do this a little different uh it's early in the morning as you can tell by our beautiful sunrise over there and um i got a bunch of stuff to do today so with that being said um it's i don't even know what time i woke up at four o'clock this morning i got home at like eight o'clock last night Yesterday was a super busy day. Uh, I think we did like 500 miles worth of driving yesterday. And, uh, well, today's gonna be another busy one. I got, I got breakfast here and uh, we're gonna hop in the 300 and we're gonna go ahead and go. So hopefully today shouldn't be as busy, um, but still pretty busy. So I should be able to catch y'all later on this afternoon. Um, hopefully, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over my new wheels and tires. Uh, so these are 20 inch mock wheels and 27530 Continental tires. Um, I don't exactly remember the model. Let me throw that in there. Um, of course, I can't see it because it's a little dark. So anyway, um, I'll I'll put it up here on the screen or it'll probably be in the the title of the video but i kind of wanted to go over these um i did some searching and the doors locked i did some searching on these before i got them and uh not many people run 275s all the way around on these cars um but they do work so I will say, on this car, with this wheel offset, I do have around a half inch spacer in the front. Um, I still need to order some for the rear to match, but half inch spacer in the front, and the driver side is completely clear. This side does rub the knuckle if you're going full lock in reverse um so that is a thing but i mean full walk in reverse a little rub is not going to kill you um now obviously if you do it all the time probably not great <laughs> but it's not super terrible so anyway um i am going to get y'all a driving clip that way y'all can hear road noise on these and, um, well, I guess we'll go from there. I've already put almost a thousand miles on these. <laughs> so, like I said, got a little bit of driving on them already. They've only been on here two weeks. Um, but I'm going to go, like I said, and then I'll get y'all driving clips so y'all can hear the road noise. And then when I get back, we'll go ahead and, uh, kind of finish up the video there all right so um we're a little ways from the house but i figured like i said i'd get i'll turn the heat off how y'all can hear so these do have just a little bit of road noise um a little louder than i had kind of wished they were my speedometer is also like a mile an hour or two high over what we're actually doing um which i verified off of life 360 and a gps app um but this cruising 55 here this is a pretty decent road um, as y'all can tell we're not bouncing all over the place um but a little bit of road noise like i said nothing too too crazy uh again i wish they would I wish they were a little quieter, um, but they, they're they pretty good. Um, now, I will say they do walk a little bit. I think that's just 275 on an eight and a half wide wheel, <laughs> um, to be completely honest. But it's, uh, it's pretty good. So anyway, like I said, we got a bunch of stuff to do today. Um, but again, pretty happy with these so far. 
uh, they handle very, very well. Um, the other day went out on some private property and did some spirited driving and I will say it's it's pretty good. Um, handles the turns really, really well and, uh, and everything. Now, I will say a little rougher ride with a, you know, being a lower profile tire, but I mean, all in all, this thing is pretty good and uh, I'm fairly happy with it. So, anyway, like I said, I will uh, I'll catch y'all when we get back to the house. We'll finish up the video there and um, I guess uh, that'll be that. And also stay tuned to the end of the video. I got y'all a 60 update and there's also gonna be a 60 update video coming here soon. We just got like uh, five or six boxes of stuff uh, yesterday and the day before. So uh, we do have some 60 stuff in the shop now. So um, there will be a 60 video coming up for y'all before too, too long. And also a video on my friend's truck, the High Country Silverado. Uh, we also have some videos we're going to be doing with that. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, I'll catch y'all when we get back to the house and uh, we'll finish up from there. Okay, guys. So we are back here at the house and, uh, well, it's, it's getting later in the day. But regardless, I will say, um, these are a little smaller of a tire than I had intended on doing, but it works because I want to lower this car. Um, so it works. Um, and if I want to get a wider wheel, we can do a wider wheel, but, you know, as long as the offsets match. Um, but regardless, I like the way they look on this car. I thought about plastic dip them plasti dipping them a different color uh just do plasti dip because it's temporary and i can play around with it but i don't know i kind of like the black and i kind of almost want to go through and just black out all the chrome on this car and uh just go for the whole blacked out look uh so i think that would look really really clean uh but y'all let me know down below in the comments what do you want to see do we black this thing completely out tint the tails or get some black tails um you know leave the wheels black or do we do a color on the wheels or have the trim to match you know whatever y'all let me know what y'all want to see on that but these do ride pretty decent uh they're a little stiffer obviously because they're a low uh, lower profile tire but they do still ride nice they're pretty smooth got a little vibration at like 45 and 75 um above 75 the other day on our closed course seemed to be pretty nice um you know cruising is pretty nice with them so i still need to clean them up obviously because they're dirty and i drove this thing in the rain the other day uh driving in the rain they do great no issues like i said they do wander a little bit but nothing super terrible um so that is nice um for these now like i said i mean we had we were kind of curious being a you know a lower pro tire but it's a uh, it's not too bad it looks like somebody has i don't know what they did anyway um <laughs> i do need to wash the thing again but we'll get to that i also need to do a cut and buff on this car and uh, fix the whatever happened when we painted this thing but we'll get to that as well but the thing does look good um, I still need to order some spacers for the rear because they're sitting in a little bit much, whereas the fronts are nice and flush. So we'll get some spacers ordered for the rear. Um, but like I said, the fronts are, are nice. So I like the way the front sit. Um, I wanted to test the fronts before I order spacers for the rear because the front was the more important thing. So again, we have a half inch spacer on the front nothing on the rear we'll get some order for the rear though and uh, get that took care of um and then like i said i do want to bag this thing or just do some springs or coilovers or something get this thing a little lower but with our roads 
I would like to bag this thing. And I think on bags, it would just be nice anyway. Um, so yeah. Also, going into my friend's driveway, this thing just lowered on coils or coilovers would be a little bit of a nightmare. Uh, so bags would also be nice for that driveway. Um, <laughs> so that's also that. But pretty happy with it. All in all, uh, like I said, I wish they were a little bit quieter. It would be nice. But, um, I mean, they're not terrible because, well, y'all know what you're used to. So these aren't terrible at all. Uh, but for a car, again, they could be just a little bit quieter. Um, but all in all, they're not bad at all. So anyway, guys, I think that's going to be a wrap for this one. I did want to make this video just kind of an update. Because um, I have gotten a few questions about these. Um... So again, I'll put all the specs and everything, as well as all my discount codes. I never push those, but I do have a ton of discount codes. I'll put those in the description if y'all want to check those out. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be a wrap for this one. As you can see, we've done some trimming today, and uh, we've got to get all this stuff down to the burn pile. I've also got a bunch of stuff to unbox that came in for the 6.0, make sure we got the right stuff. Um, so I'm about to go do that real quick, and... Uh, We'll get back up here and help my grandpa with this stuff. So, with that being said, guys, if y'all enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everybody has a great day.